If I believe in God, or don't believe in God, it doesn't change the facts whatsoever. If I believe the earth is round, and you believe the earth is flat, neither of our beliefs affect the actual shape of the earth. The earth is its shape, regardless of what people believe. If you're an atheist, or an agnostic, or a full-blown religionist, the overarching truth remains the same. There is only one truth. What that is, is debatable, but debate will not change it. We can fight over the nuances of various religions, we can argue over the differences between atheism and agnosticism, but in the end, the underlying truth does not change. People's opinions and beliefs have no bearing on the fundamental and irrevocable truth. So why do we argue? Why do we fight? Why do we watch videos on YouTube of people with different beliefs and then fight them in the comments section? How is an atheist stating that God does not exist any more valid than a priest who says God does exist? They are both inconsequential with regard to truth. So why do we fight? Why do we want to have our say? I would suggest that it comes down to ego. I am right and you are wrong. Yeah sure, some of us might say it in a more polite way, but ultimately, our words are meaningless. They have no bearing on the actual truth. However, that doesn't mean that our beliefs are inconsequential. Far from it. Our beliefs have brought about many changes to this world, both good and bad. Starting with the positive, beliefs have acted as a moral compass to many people throughout history. Christianity's Ten Commandments immediately springs to mind. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. A moral guide for many of its adherents. Now just to be clear, that doesn't mean that I think atheists don't have a moral compass. Of course not. People's beliefs and morals come from many different sources, not just religion. Beliefs can also provide people with a sense of structure in their normally chaotic lives. If you believe in a holy day, one reserved for a weekly rest with family and friends, well that can bring about a sense of calm to an otherwise hectic life. If you believe in transcendental meditation and practice it at the start of each day, that could very well make you a more peaceful and relaxed person. Beliefs can potentially benefit the individual as well as society as a whole. Studies have found that those with greater spirituality tend to have better mental health outcomes. Spiritual beliefs can act as a very effective coping device. Holding similar beliefs to your peers can help improve your sense of community and togetherness. People of a similar faith tend to help each other when they are in need. This can provide a strong foundation for a peaceful and harmonious society. There are many benefits to believing in something, even if that something is unprovable or unknowable. However, there are of course potential negatives to holding spiritual beliefs. Look back throughout history and you will see many examples of violence committed in the name of religion. Religious extremists have been known to fight and murder non-believers, not over something that is verifiably true, but over something that they simply believe to be true. My God is the one true God. If you do not repent, you shall be convicted of apostasy and executed at dawn, as per the word of God. Alternatively, God does not exist. Anybody who believes in God is a fool and is not worthy of our company. We should denounce religion in all its forms. Certain countries have actively attacked certain religions or persecuted followers of a certain belief simply because they see them as a threat to state power. See China for a modern day example. Beliefs have brought about many problems in society. Some unfortunate individuals have been told that their cancer had been miraculously healed at the hands of a spiritual leader. Consequently, they did not seek out medical advice and ended up succumbing to the untreated disease. Militant atheists gather in halls encouraging each other to speak out against religion at every opportunity, resulting in a toxic environment of grudges, hate, and a breakdown of the social fabric. Extremism in any form can and does hurt society. My opinion is simple. Believe in something if you wish, if it benefits you. But just remember, there will always be others that believe in something different. Our beliefs should not be used as a weapon. They should not be used to hurt or to harm, to divide or to segregate. Instead we should use them to help and to heal, to unite and to conciliate. Regardless of the underlying truth, society can prosper. Belief doesn't change the truth, but it certainly can change the world.